Hello, my name is Daniel Lee and I'll be showing you how to solve absolute value inequalities. So, in this question, absolute value of x is greater than 4. I dissected it down to something simpler so we can understand what this means. Absolute value is basically what the distance from 0 is. So, because this value equals 4, we know that the distance is going to be 4. Now, because this is a quantity of value, and it doesn't matter what direction it's heading towards because it's absolute value and it's a distance, this is a distance of 4. Now, there is another distance of 4 in the negative direction. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative, negative 4 is also viable because the distance from 0 to, he, 0 to this point is also 4. So what you can say is that if you input the value negative 4, or we can also, if we also input 4 into this equation, we will get 4. Because that's basically the distance from 0 to the point. Now, Because we understand that, now we can go on into this problem. Um, absolute value of x is greater than 4. Now, because it says greater than, but not greater than or equal to, we know that the point, the um, solution to this inequality isn't going to include 4. So we can erase that, and we put an open circle that means that it's not equal to it. This filled in dot signifies that it's equal to it, but an open dot does not. So now we know that it's greater than 4. So what we can say is that because this is, because x can be plus or minus, we can solve for this. x is going to be greater than 4. So we know that's true, but we also have to include the negative 4. So what we can say is that because x could also be negative x, we can say that negative x has to be greater than 4. And if we divide negative 1 to get the positive x, we get x is less than 4, negative 4. Because whenever you divide um, a negative number, you always have to switch the symbol, this symbol. So now, what can you say? That anything from here and anything from here will solve this inequality. Now let's try that. Let's say we have the value 5. x is equal to 5. If we put it into this equation, 5 is greater than 4, right? So now let's try negative 5, negative 5. x is equal to negative 5. So that means the absolute value of negative 5 is going to be greater than 4, is it? absolute negative 5, negative is, um, because absolute value is distance, you don't care about the negative sign. So you just have 5 is greater to 4. And that's true. So we can say that this is an accurate representation. Now, okay, now I'm going to be showing you how to find if the ordered pair is a solution to the inequality. Well, that's really simple. You have your ordered pair, a comma 3, x comma y. Now you just substitute those values into the inequality and see if it's true or not. 8 minus 3 less than or equal to 5. 8 minus 3 is 5 is less than or equal to 5. Now this inequality says that this value has to be less than or equal to this value. So let's check. 5 is less than 5? No, that's wrong. But 5 is equal to 5, right? So that's correct. So we can say that this ordered pair is a solution to the inequality. Now let's move on. Graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Though it looks kind of hard, it's actually really simple. You just got to think of it as an equation. y is greater than 4x minus 3. But it's much simpler to graph y equals 4x minus 3. 
Now, we know that 4 is going to be our slope. And we know that negative 3 is going to be our y-intercept. From that information, we can go about and actually graph this. Y-intercept is where the point where the function um, crosses this y-axis. So what we can do is we find negative 3. Negative 3 is right over here. So we know that the graph is going to cross this point. Now we know what our slope is, 4. So we know that it's going to rise by 4 and run by 1. 4 over 1, 4 over 1, that's the point there. 4 over 1, that's the point right there. So we can create a straight line that is um, the graph of y equals 4x minus 3. Now, because we have our graph, actually, be, although we have this graph, that's not our answer. y greater than 4x minus 3 is what we're trying to graph. So, we can't include any of these points on this graph because it's not equal to it. It's only greater than. So how we signify that is instead of creating a line, we create dash, a dashed line to represent that it's not including that amount. But what amount is it including? It's actually all of this. All of these values from over here are solutions to this. Now, though it seems a little bit impossible, I can show you how that's done by actually adding a value, but actually by um, using a value from the point. So let's choose 0, 0, because it's the easiest point to use. Now, if you input it into this inequality, 0 is greater than 4 times 0 minus 3. Right? 0 minus 3 is just negative 3, and 0 is greater than negative 3. And that's true. So we can say that is a point on this graph. That is a solution to this inequality. Now, what if we actually choose the point on this line? Well, let's try it. Let's see. We have 1 comma 1. So 1 is greater than 4 times 1 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is just 1. Is 1 greater than 1? No. So that's not true. So that's not a solution to this, um, this line, this inequality. So what we say is that all of this is going to be our solution and infinitely going in, that, in this direction. And that's how you graph linear inequalities. Well, that's about it for um, absolute, solving absolute value inequalities, and I hope you have a great day.